So I was told I'm not supposed to be calling people's names out. So you know what? I'm not. <laughs> Check it out. So a certain pastor or minister is dying. You know, I'm not really good at uh, finding nice, soft, sweet words. So I'm just going to say it, okay? So a certain minister is on his way out, you know, Carlton Pearson. And uh, another certain minister is grieving for him. He lives in my area. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying not to say nothing. So he's grieving over this man. He calls him a spiritual father. He came up under his ministry. And uh, he broke off, and you know, because... This man, because Carlton Pearson moved away from the truth, this man moved away from Carlton Pearson's ministry and now has his own ministry. But why are you still calling him your spiritual father when you have a, a, a real father who's in ministry? How are you connecting yourself in the spirit to this man, to his teaching? Are you kidding me? So do you know when you grieve for a person you're an open door for their demons because when their demons, when, when the person dies, the demons are going to find another vessel because they got to manifest. So this guy is now becoming an open portal for demons. Maybe that's, he's already in the Marine kingdom. His whole church is a Marine church. And let me just say, let me just not say, <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, something about um, he would get girls with by baking cakes. If you know who I'm talking about, put it in the comments. <laughs> so, yeah, he would bake cakes for these women and, and bring it to their house. And, um, yeah, that's how he would get in the door. And then, boom, well, one of those women got pregnant and then uh, he paid for the abortion. So there's blood on the church's hands. So why is it that, oh my gosh, how are you, now you got more demons coming. Now you got all those Luciferian, false light, false gospel demons. Not just the Marine Kingdom demons. Now you got the false light demons. Y'all in trouble over there. You know who I'm talking about. And you need to get up out of that church. Because y'all going to get hit really bad. That's like. That's not, that's, it's bad. You got to get out of there. And you can say you're there for whatever reason, but you're still going to get struck. You know, kind of like when Samson pushed the pillars to the side, the roof came down and killed everybody inside. Everybody inside is going to get hit. You better get out of there. Okay. Absent from the body, present with the Lord. You're just going to go and be with Jesus a little bit early. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Bye.